There's a little button that makes this brighter, I think. Ah, there we go. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Like Hi, you guys. My name is Laura Barrett. This is Paige Evans. Hi guys. Thanks for hopping on and or watching the replay. If you're live, say hi. If you're watching the replay, say replay. Uh, for most of you, well, I don't know if most of you, but some of you know that I've been in a company for about a year now and we're always talking about the little yellow pill and it's made of five herbs that are synergistically combined to reduce oxidative stress by 40% in the first 30 days. And it's been proven to be over 1800% more effective than just taking those herbs alone. And uh, so about, well, probably a month after I started, Paige decided to try it because she's been having, you know, all kinds of things as far as arthritis and knee pain and back pain. And hi, Christy, how are you? Wish, hi, Christy. Wish you were here tonight. <laughs> we're having a little ladies night on top of it, doing nails and having drinks. Mm -hmm. So figured we'd do this at the same time. But I just wanted her to get on and tell her story on what she's experienced and the things that she's noticed. And then she just had a hysterectomy seven weeks ago. Yep, six, seven weeks on seven Thursday. Weeks yep. And just what she's experienced with that as well. So I will go ahead and let you take it over, my dear. Yeah, you bet. Um, so I started the little yellow pill uh, last April. So um, it's been just a little bit over a year. And, um, I've experienced migraines my whole life and Laura works with me, um, as well as my friend outside of work. And there's been numerous times that I've had to miss day, two days, even three days of work. Way um, too much. Yeah. And I've had um, to cover. No. <laughs> She's had to cover. Yes. Right. Um, with migraines and since being on the little yellow pill, I don't believe Laura and I were talking about it today, actually, and yeah. I think it's probably, probably the end of last summer since I've had one so bad that I've actually had to miss yeah. work. Um, yeah, it didn't even register to us. Yeah, we did. We started thinking about it, and I'm like, oh I my was god, like, when was yeah. The last time you missed work, and she's like, I, I think don't it, know. I'm like, I yeah, don't remember either. Early fall, probably end of last summer, early fall. Um, so that was my first thing that really made a difference. Um, being on the little yellow pill. And then um, about your eye. Oh yeah, yeah. and so I have um, in my right eye, I have a terrible stigmatism. Um, and actually, last year at my um, doctor's appointment, I had the doctor told me I actually had the first signs of glaucoma, um, thus contributing to why I get such really bad migraines. Even in the probably the last six seven years, they've magnified since um, when I was younger. They weren't quite as bad. Um, and so the fact that I still obviously have that with my eyes and I don't get migraines, little yellow pill guys. Hey Austin. Hey, hey Austin. Maggie. Hi Maggie. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, hey Deb. And um, so you guys, I totally attribute that to the little yellow pill. Yeah. My eyes have not changed. I mean, they're the same. Um, the other thing was I had, um, I had hurt my knee at the gym, um, about a year and a half, mm -hmm. probably before I started the little yellow pill. Mm -hmm. And, um, I noticed that it just would never get better. So I actually went and had, um, it checked and I actually have arthritis in my, in my right knee for being 46 years old kind of stinks. <laughs> um, but again, that has completely subsided since being on the little yellow pill. So it's because it, yeah, it reduces, it the just reduces the inflammation. It used to be like, I live in a place where I go up very steep stairs. And as many of you know, my close friends actually fell down those stairs and got a big fat black eye. So it's funny now. It's funny now, but I mean, literally fell down them. So black eye and everything, <laughs> black eye and everything. So the fact that I can go up and down those stairs now with no pain, mm -hmm. it's unbelievable. Cause didn't it pop out? It used to pop out. On yeah. You. It used to pop out on me yeah. and it actually made it. So it was You're really right. hard for me to get back to the gym because of it. So, um, and then the most, or, or the greatest thing I think that's happened was like Laura said in the beginning, Seven weeks ago, I had a hysterectomy, and I know many of our friends watching have had it. I've actually had so many of my 
close girlfriends and just friends in general that have had them. Um, I had a total, so that means everything, ovaries, all of that. Um, laparoscopic. Yep. And I was, yeah, it was laparoscopic, so I was luckily not cut open. But um, still. But still, it's a, any of you that have had it. Major surgery. No, it's a, yeah. it's a major surgery. Um, and I was just thinking, you know, oh yeah, I'm going to be able to get back. It's going to not be a big deal. <laughs> Christy. <laughs> Yes, Chrissy remembers my black eye. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, so my thought process was, you know, a couple weeks and everybody, including my doctor and nurses I worked with, my friends, they're like, no way. It's four weeks minimum, probably up to six weeks of like literally not going back to work. And, and, yeah, and they recommended it. And they, they recommended said, it. No, you're not yeah. going back four to six weeks. Yeah, so. and so the other thing was is that part of mine was that they're... I did have some red flags for cancer. Um, luckily, it none of my stuff was cancer, um, thank goodness. But so that could have made my recovery a little bit longer. Um, so I had the surgery, came out, actually stopped taking pain meds at less than a week. Um, no pain meds. I was just taking a little bit of ibuprofen. Um, and went back to work against my doctor's um, recommendation and kind of his orders um, at two and a half weeks. And I actually was pulling six hour days. Yeah. Again, I truly attribute just from hearing stories. I work in the medical billing industry, so I see this stuff all the time. Friends, colleagues that have went through this. They all thought I was absolutely crazy. They're like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. You are not going to be able to do this. The first week back. So guys, I was back at two and a half weeks doing six hour days mm -hmm. of work. Granted, we're not talking like construction, but honestly, anybody that's had this surgery, the sitting is worse than anything. It's, it's awful. Um, so I actually, the first week, that first week I was back, I did a full week of six hour days. Mm -hmm. The following week... I was back doing eight hour days. Is that when you ran into the cancer doctor? Yes. Was it, was it week three? It was, it was actually the first week I was back. Oh, I was actually, two, two yes, okay. I ran into, um, the surgeon that actually did my main surgery. Um, and he was, he's one of our gyno, gynecology oncologist doctors. Um, and he looked at me and he goes, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. His nurse was like, you're crazy. You cannot be here. They thought she just came in to say hi and yeah. have a cup of coffee and, you know, see yeah. everybody. And the next thing you know, they're seeing me there all day. And, um, the, so the, the following week I was back at eight hours a day, which I've been doing the entire time yeah. now. And Thursday was seven weeks. Mm -hmm. And guys, I'm telling you, it's the little yellow pill. And like I said, I could be, there could be some girls out there that maybe did go back and did just exactly what I did. I don't think so. Um, everybody was telling you, not everybody to. was like, you're crazy. Yeah. I mean, my don't family was like, it. what are you doing? And I cannot believe the recovery that I've made. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I wasn't a hundred percent, but unbelievably beyond I think what anybody expected I mean both of my doctors like I said nurses my friends my family um, were just blown away mm -hmm. so little yellow pill yeah amazing well and there's been stories of people uh, like a gal on my upline she also has uh, she had rotator cuff surgery and she healed far quicker than any of her doctors thought as well. And basically what it does is um, it reduces your oxidative stress, which you guys can, can read up on that. You can go to pubmed.gov and look that up too. Uh, it'll have all kinds of information and research on it. But it reduces your inflammation in your body. It reduces your oxidative stress. And it actually brings your cells back to as like when you were a child or, or mm -hmm. like a, a baby even. And if any of you guys haven't seen the ABC primetime investigative report, I can post it on here or send it to you. And it actually does a, it was an ABC study that they tried to debunk it mm -hmm. and say that it didn't work. And it actually proved that it reduced uh, the blood or the oxidative stress by 45% in mm -hmm. only two weeks on the reporter. So it was pretty interesting. Hey Casey, hey Ashley, Pamela, thanks for hopping on you guys. 
And um, so that's just her story. And then uh, there's a, another gal on here that also got on it and she has osteoarthritis. And she actually noticed after one day of being mm -hmm. on it that uh, the pain wasn't as bad. And after only, well, cause she, she called me the next day and said, can this, ha can this start working in one day? And I was like, eh, it's kind of soon. So let's just kind of wait and see what happens. And then after a week, she said, Laura, I'm reducing my pain medication. She's like, I, I'm not in as much pain. And I was like, oh my God, that's great news. And after two weeks, she said that she is off her pain medication after being um, on medication for five years. She was on pain medication for five years. She was off of it and only taking one ibuprofen a day. Amazing. Is, yeah, unheard it's, of. Yeah, completely. So I just wanted to have her tell her story yeah. because a lot of people I don't think, you know, believe that, you know, she came back that quickly. And she even kept saying, she's like, all I can attribute it to is the yeah. little yellow pill. And um, Crystal, I know that you were on here and this is called a dream sickle. So it is uh, McGillicuddy's <laughs> vanilla liqueur. And then it's orange soda and half and half. And you just mix it in. And it's a cute, oh, you probably can't see it, but it's a cute little Montana glass. Can you see the shape of the state of Montana on there? I got these a couple weeks ago at the home show. But anyway, that's just, uh, that's our story. And uh, thanks for hopping on. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, and any of my friends on here that are watching, that are not friends with Laura, you're friends with me, private message me if you guys are interested and I will give you Laura's information. Um, I have another gal doing it too. Um, yeah, so you guys, like I said, read up on it. If you're interested, mm -hmm. private message me and I'll yeah. get you in contact with this lady right here. Yeah. And it's not, it's not going to, you know, cost you an arm and a leg. It's $41 yeah. and then it's, um, 40, I think it's like $48 a month with shipping. Mm -hmm. And then we do also have, uh, it's what's called the vitality stack, which is your all over health. And that one is 150 with, which includes free shipping too. But that has our Nerf one, our Nerf two, and which is your mitochondria, your oxidative stress has a fish oil including vitamin D and it's lemon lime flavored so you don't have the fishy burps and then it also has a probiotic which actually your body absorbs up to 60 percent mm -hmm. instead of four percent which is what most uh, probiotics work so anyway hope you guys oh my gosh it's Friday the 13th it is Friday the 13th we're having a party and nothing <laughs> bad happened so that's, that's that is a good thing right yeah so hope you guys have an awesome weekend bye guys bye bye